Tony D and Little Joan in the background, and this is a screenwriter's rant for Blood and Snow, a movie that looks uh, pretty much like The Thing, only with trees. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's The Pineys, books 1 through 12. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. Kind of the same sort of setup. A remote, very cold area. Only this time, uh, this woman gets infected or they find her. And then she starts killing everybody. Um, they ask her, who are you? Or do you know who you are? And she goes, the first. Whatever that means. And she starts fighting people and killing them. And they aim guns at her, although we don't get to see them fired. You can see she's very scary there. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Um, don't think she's a vampire. Um, here she stabs a guy through the hand. Um, it may be it may be something similar to the thing. She's like possessed by an alien or maybe demonic and supernatural in nature. They don't say though. It's from Horror Hell Hound Films, written by, looks like Rosa McPhillips, story by Simon Phillips. Oh. Rosa McPhillips, and story by Simon Phillips. Hmm. Who directed this thing? I uh, can't really tell. Part of this is blocked. Can't stand when they do that. Um, yeah, Simon Phillips is also in the movie. So there's that. Directed by Jesse Palangio. I mean, it looks fine. It's got the it's got all the beats you'd expect. It's got that music. It's got all kinds of dark lighting and sinister moments and it's just that it's going to be a hot chick killing everybody except the thing. I mean, if you have to pick one or the other, uh, or if you don't have the budget for the other, yeah, you can't go wrong with a hot chick. Really can't. A um, little disconcerting to see her eat out a guy's tongue, though. That's That's kind of gross. But, you know, it's the contrast, you know. Somebody who's super hot and feminine, just throwing people around like they're rag dolls. Um, eh, would I see it? Eh, maybe. I don't know. It really feels a lot like the thing. Like a lot like it. Um, first act, they either go out and get attacked because of something they found, or they find her and they bring her back to nurse her back to health and she wakes up. And uh, she is infected or, you know, with this thing. And at first they, oh, glad you recovered. You recovered fast. Next thing you know, she's stabbing people and biting people and doing all sorts of crazy things. So then, then they lock her down, but she gets out and she keeps getting stronger and keeps killing people. And all through the second act. And then the third act is they finally figure out what hurts her and then they kill her. Or she kills them. I, I think they kill her, though. All right, let's read the synopsis. Unveils the trailer for Canadian horror, sci-fi horror. Oh, well. It did seem rather polite. Well, excuse me, may I bite your neck? Um, so I guess it takes place in the Canadian wilderness. All right. Outline. In the frigid expanse of the Arctic tundra, a pair of scientists discover the landing site of a meteorite. Oh, see? Get more like the thing with every word. Tragically, one scientist loses his life while the other becomes infected by uh, a nearby research facility, takes in the surviving scientist in an attempt to unravel the mysterious events. However, they soon realize the lone survivor may not be who she appears to be. It's very much like the thing. In fact, this feels like the thing uh, it, without the effects. Um, but that being said, would I watch it? Eh, maybe. I wouldn't go to the theaters for it. It's too much like the thing. Like, the only reason I'd be watching it 
to is to see how it was different from the thing. And if it wasn't, I'd be kind of like, ah, this is a ripoff. Um, but it might be. I mean, it's Canadian. So, you know, instead of at the ending, you know, when Kurt Russell throws the dynamite, you know, it's a guy going, hey, why don't you go a boot and a boot back and I don't know. I, can, I just wanted to say a boot. Um, I don't know. They throw a back bacon act at her. I mean, what what difference does it make if it's just Canadian or the Antarctic? It's it's pretty pretty similar places. So I I think this is going to be kind of a, a the thing light, the thing with uh, half the budget. That's that's my prediction. But I I don't know that for sure. Maybe it's good. I mean, even if it is the thing with a light budget, it, I, that's still pretty good. The thing is an awesome movie. I mean, half awesome is still pretty awesome. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say take it. Uh, I'm doing a thing tomorrow. It's a private event. Sorry, you got to be uh, part of the club to see me tomorrow. But uh, I'll be back on Thursday uh, doing a bit for the South Jersey Writers. And then on Saturday... I'm doing the Collingswood Book Fest, so hope to see you there. We'll see you tomorrow.